Generals, gentlemen. Hello, hello, this is the General's Gentleman back in your ears. Hoo -hoo. Hooray! I am Anuja Machine. And I am Archon Hawk. Fantastic. Now we do actually have a China vs. China Vanilla Mirror matchup between Team Hannibal as the orange on the top here. And Superman as the blue. So, no idea who these guys are if they are Smurfs of some kind. Yeah, I think we better check on that, but yeah, we're not 100% sure where they're going. It looks like both are, in fact, going to go for that uh, barracks power point. Weird barracks though. placement there from Hannibal being a very um, a very far back barracks. Usually you see the barracks quite far forward, but then again, that would delay the supply like we are seeing here. It's a long it's a long drive all the way back. Yeah. Um, so it looks like, uh, in terms of the garrison wars, Hannibal being that little bit faster may actually secure them, but then again, they may just get one each. You kind of sit there and basically do nothing. Um, but will we see all cap probably would be a good move given that fast barracks for both these players. The two red guard on the kills are probably going to be all cap. Yeah, be a good move and taking control of those um, garrisons is just super important. Um, looks like we are seeing some pretty close building placement there from Superman. We've got to watch those uh, dragon tanks there. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it does make it a lot harder to get harassed by outposts of if you course, have walled yeah. off your war factory. Um, so yeah, looks like Hannibal definitely going for his oil, but then again, what is Superman? Is he doing the same? Getting a bunker though, so yeah. probably gonna prevent um, flame tank aggression. Actually, so is Hannibal. Yeah, yeah so. defending those flanks, which, is, which isn't a bad move. I mean, with a couple of tank hunters in a bunker, Ooh. you're halfway there to de defeating the uh, flame tank. That's true. The thing is as well is a uh, nice crush there. If you if you go like five um, RPG in a bunker, it means it's going to be quite easy to transition into a helix if you want to go for a bunker helix. Oh yeah. Which especially as vanilla China is quite common because of how cheap their aircraft is. Uh, yeah, it looks like we will just be having the garrison wars here, just going to be taking out the uh, blank garrisons to try and take control of the centre of the map, because those mill supplies are going to be quite important. Oh, definitely, yeah. So actually, uh, another bunker as well on the side here for Superman. Definitely doesn't want any aggression coming out of uh, Hannibal, um, the outpost, moving in to actually drop off some RPGs to those bunkers. Now, an outpost has actually snuck into the base of Hannibal here. Can he try and harass down some of those trucks, <laughs> or are the RPGs in those bunkers going to evac and chase it down? Yeah, there are quite a few uh, RPGs in the area, so he's got to be quite careful um, just how he micros it. Now he has managed to sneak it in. He's moving pretty close to those supply trucks, and he definitely has the movement speed advantage. Yeah, a lot faster than the slow RPGs, of course. The airfield has finished now for Hannibal, so he could go for a fast Gatling uh, Helix himself with those RPGs he has lying around. Oil has been captured for Hannibal. Superman has not done the same. No, he has not yet. But so there nice goes the RPG. Oh, looks like the Dozer gets taken super low, oh. but the Gatling actually managed to tank some of the shots. But no, all oh, that is super low. Um, move that, let's get open. Person, take out the dozer, man. Oh, there's a MIG coming out. The MIG is out. It looks like it's going to get taken out by the outpost as it flies down. But oh, actually, the shots come out. Oh, doing a heap of damage to the outpost. Not killing it though. That dozer, yeah, barely surviving, duking around the supply to keep it alive. A nice outpost here from Hannibal to actually give a bit of scouting and vision on that. And now uh, this outpost may take that down eventually. Uh, the oil, if he doesn't actually stop that. But it looks like, uh, no, Superman is just going to leave it there just for scouting information. Always a good move to do. And so that push has been defeated, not really doing much, to be honest. Apart from killing that first yeah, mini. Looks like he's going to try and grab that um, secondary oil, but I think the listening outpost there will manage Ooh. to get the crush down. We do see a flame tank moving in on very, very little health. <laughs> Did take out the barracks and probably some defending RPGs, and actually these MiGs are going to be perfect against these outposts. And look at this, the oil cap is oh, quite nice to see. Because basically, like, unless Hannibal Superman uses the crush on the outpost, he can't really prevent those from actually crushing. So yeah, these MiGs are going to be a good choice against the outpost spam of Superman, but now Gats are on the way and they will mop up those MiGs if he's not careful. So yeah, evacuating the outpost is a good move to do against the MiGs. Oh yeah, yeah that, that MiGs I think was an excellent choice. It's, oh, they're moving in again, just doing so much damage. It's so hard to take it out. It's really forcing these Gats to come in. Oh, that MiG got taken very low, but barely surviving there. Survive. And now these are RPG battle here um, won't really go either way because the Gats will move in and mop those up. So this is actually quite nice. I, I like seeing the uh, outpost placement just for this the uh, vision. Uh, it does look as though that there was one here from um, Hannibal earlier, but it must have been taken out or something. I think it must have been, uh, yeah, on the side. Um, I'm oh, he actually he prevented the oh, crash. Yeah, and I think he, he must have done. Same. Man, that must have been really close. When we were yeah, watching, it was really it was um it was. Oh, he's trying to get he's trying to get it, Willie. Really, no, yeah. it gets crushed. He's in the front bumper there. <laughs> so yeah, these MIGs are now on the guard mode. Um, but there are actually outposts everywhere. He doesn't know they're there because there are, of course, invisible or stealth. 
Um, and now Lotus has hit the field now. That's nice to see because he's going to capture the yeah. old Derek. So Hannibal having a fast prop center. And do we have the same from Hannibal? No, Doesn't look he, like we yeah, do. Yeah, when, with him, when he hit him going for the um, with the airfield, it actually delayed his prop center. So as soon as you see Superman deciding to go for that Lotus pick instead of um, instead of the airfield. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to go fast airfield and a fast prop center, you're probably not going to have any money for any kind of ground army. Uh, but Minx can be a very good counter to the Lotus, because if you, ha if you have them on guard mode, if she tries to capture, she just gets taken out by the Migs. Yeah, it's going to be super fast. Oh, this this engagement's going to work really well here for our team Hamlet. Oh, the Gatlings are walking Gats into oh, the flame tank. Position. That was awful positioning there from Superman, just driving the Gats into the flame tank. Now they got decimated. So they weren't shooting, because, I mean, what, they've got, like, a 50% reduced, like, yeah. um, spin-up rate when they're actually moving. Plus, they weren't even facing the right way. Plus, the Migs came in. They are already focusing the tank. So that was really good placement there and good timing there from Bit Hannibal. Bit of a blow there from Superman, unfortunately. Now, Hannibal is going for his third supply, so again, get that extra income rolling and now Lotus is on the way and with no detection nearby Hannibal may actually lose uh, his supply there. Yeah, you've been in some pretty serious trouble. I'd like to see an airfield cap when the MiGs are refueling. Oh, that's, that's always, always good nice fun. to see, especially his nuke MiGs. Um, but now we are seeing Overlord ECM, so that's going to be a nice ground army for Superman here. And, it's going to uh, help against those MiGs a little bit as well, just stopping the initial the initial hits of the uh, MiGs. So. Yeah, MiGs are pretty bad against Overlords. They will yeah. definitely deal with like uh, Battle Masters, oh, yeah. Gats, uh, ECMs. You can get a Firestorm, but Overlords, they just don't have the damage they need. And Lotus is actually moving out, just dodging the outpost though, almost getting caught by that. So, very risky move to Superman there. Um, but it looks as though she may actually oh. go for the oh. airfield capture. Looks like the MiGs are going oh, down to really really gosh. Please, please, Lotus, please. They're Gonna all on the so ground. Happy. Gonna make me so happy. Oh, she started the it's cap. Capping, she it's capping, it's capping. The gas nearby, though. Will the Lotus actually get the cap? And will these MiGs be captured? Oh, something's coming out of the war factory as well. Oh, golly, is that gosh, a that's an outpost. Oh, it's an outpost. It not in time. The MiGs are taking off. Oh, Excelling. no, he's going to have to get the cell. And he loses all of the MiGs. And oh. that, that basically goes everything that Hannibal had going for him. The Lotus probably will get taken out with the outpost and the Gatling. But yeah, losing those MiGs. That's a huge blow there, and now I don't think uh, Hannibal can really defend this Overlord Gatling ECM push from Superman through yeah. the front lines here. Especially with all those Gats in the back of the base hunting down the Lotus. Then that was an absolutely superb job with the Lotus. Oh, nice job, Lotus. She's actually going to shut down the Gats, so she can't actually be taken out. That's oh, really cool. She's drawing away the army while there's a huge push coming through the front door. That's a nice move there. The uh, bunker and the garrison probably won't be enough against that many ECMs. Yeah, got those Overlords. They're going to tank up the uh, damage. Looks like the Lotus is going to get chased down, but it's going to just hold off those listening out post that little bit longer while uh, while sorry while Superman actually pushes into the base. He's just muscling his way through the front door. Lotus actually lives to see another day and this is um, some poor placement here for Hannibal. He doesn't really have anything to fight this. He really needs to get new cannons or something because he just he can't deal with this. There's just not enough troops on the field. Yeah, there's no ground army and the fact that he's lost all those minks as well, I mean, he doesn't even have that supporting factor there. <laughs> Lotus is still alive. How does she survive that? She's shutting down the gat. She's, she's got the skills, man. I wanna know who this guy is, because this guy is a freaking baller. That Lotus control was nuts and losing the fourth supply as well. So Hannibal in a bit of trouble here does have the third supply, but actually, oh, a flame tank through the side, taking down the bunker and the supply actually, so uh so it's Hannibal doing work. a nice counter attack. He's oh, going to take down some of the trucks as well. As well. Up the top, we have a new cannon oh. coming out from Hannibal. Man, this guy is awesome. That's a good choice. He might actually defend this push. That would take down the slow gats and the ECMs while the economy of Superman has been crushed. But there's an Inferno cannon there as well, and that's going to start targeting. But he's going to take out all the RPGs, the RPGs. Oh, oh, the new cannon takes out several gallons. gats. But the uh, the Overlords mix. are, of course, still alive in that. Overlord is the. Sorry, the new cannon is caught quite a little bit out of position. We have the back napalm upgrade coming down, but that's not going to do a lot. Excellent. Oh. Skill shot there from Hannibal. He's actually going to do a lot of damage to those overlords. And one of those overlords is on a pixel of health. Just that so individual weak. pixel. The new cannon does, in fact, get taken out as well. It's and regenerating, like though, from the prop tower. Will it be taken out? Yes, it oh, does yeah, go it down. Does, finally. And now the MiGs will finish that off. So, actually, that new cannon was definitely uh, saving the day there for Hannibal. Once those ECM, the Gatlings, went down, he could just crush them with the RPG army. So, very nice play there from Hannibal. Doing a nice counterattack during that engagement. Getting a new cannon, getting the MiGs in the back and just decimating that army. Yeah, he did an excellent job. They're pushing back with that dragon tank, still microing while he was actually um, in the base. Um, that new cannon shot pretty much the saving grace, especially that skill shot he did at the uh, end of the overlords. But the carpet bomb oh, will the carpet take down the MiGs, out the MiGs. And the airfield, so these uh, airfields not really oh, paying off. Yeah, and they took damage as well as they were falling down, so the other MiGs got taken out as well. Those all four MiGs again. Excellent work there, super bad. That uh, dozer taken out by the Artie Strike. This, uh, this, the last dozer yeah. is pretty weak here. Yeah, he may be taken drop. out. 
It won't kill the Dozer though, because no, they I'm are not sure immune. It but it will definitely delay the War Factory. So actually, nice moves here from Superman. This is um, it's a very it's going it's going its way now. Both players is losing their economy, losing their base, losing their army. So yeah, both players in a bit of trouble here. We do um, have a Lotus that has actually come out now as well um, from Hannibal moving down the side and there, we have an Arty Strike coming in from him as well. I like to see this Arty Strike taking down the Old Derek. So I think it's going to be a lot more important. Rather than taking down some of the trucks, the Old Derek is a permanent kill because he, he would be the trucks. He won't kill the building. Oh, he, he's he's that's, that's oh, has he, has he combined Oh, oh here yeah, we go. Is. That's here what we, we want. Uh, but, but it's a little bit misplaced. A little um, bit too early. Yeah, a little bit dropped a little bit too um, on the side that's there. Weird. So you not actually even managed to finish taking it out. Yeah, but still, uh, uh, Hannibal pushing out with some ECMs, going for the third supply. So Hannibal having a very... In oh, actually, nice. I don't know. That's a very good way of clearing mines. Um, yeah, it's cool. faster than doses. So Hannibal having a very weird playstyle, going for a lot of income, going with three supply, three, four supply earlier, getting a lot of mix, a lot of new cannons, and not really any ground army. You know, no overlords, no battle masters. He's, he's playing a very, um, very tricky style. Where then Superman, on the other hand, is just balling out these uh, overlords and these powerful yeah, ground armies. It's just that ground army, and he's lost so many MIGs. I mean, he's lost two airfields full of MIGs so far. Oh, so yeah. it hasn't really paid off for him. Having and he does have another airfield up now as well. So he's really but going after this air. Uh, Field mix strategy. So, so Superman only has the one supply though. Um, that one has some supplies left, but it's not actually mining. The Lotuses now are moving in. They can cap some important buildings. Make over the airfield again. Please tell me you go to oh, the airfield. Oh man, that might be another mine drop. I think on it the might war be an EMP. Oh, oh, I know it is a mine drop. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, EMP is five, five stars. You yeah. wouldn't get that yet. Yeah, no, I, I forgot um, the other mine drop was on cooldown. It was actually Superman's mine drop that went down before. So Hannibal really pushing back here, getting this fourth supply, doing a bit of harassment. Um, but then again, Lotus in the back. She's gonna get that airfield. She is. Oh, so, you just know it. You just know she's Superman's not Superman's Lotuses are so good, but actually. I think those MiGs are taking off, though. So, yeah, MiGs have uh, actually taken off. So Oh, we got the Lotus, though. No, the Lotus is actually going to get the airfield. Just kidding. There goes the Lotus. So, these Bye, MiGs. Lotus. Nice work there, uh, Hannibal, being on the board, <laughs> taking that Lotus down. Saving your airfield, the airfield lived to see another day, and that's not something we expected to be honest. So the Lotus though actually from Hannibal stealing money. So the um, Lotus from Hannibal having a bit more luck than Superman's and Wines killing several units there. Oh they're moving in now, I think the Gats could possibly get there in time. No, they're moving off to the side. They're moving in now. Oh, that's going to be very cell, close. Though. The cell order will go off, but it looks like Lotus will uh, fall down and there. And a couple bomb will weaken the base. Oh, no! Oh, no. It's going oh, for the mix! Oh, my God! Brrr, that is the third airfield. Shock a block of MIGs that Hannibal, he's lost. He must be pretty sad He's right having now. a bad day. This, this is... This I would really not want to be a MIG on today. No, I would Today is not a good day to be a MIG. I'd like to be a Lotus from, from uh, Superman. But I wouldn't want to be a MIG from Hannibal because not having a very good kill to death ratio are they. So um, the flame tank trying to sneak in here. But this uh, carpet bomb back and forth from both of these players may actually take down oh, some important buildings. Down. Yeah, it looks like it's going. Oh, it might actually take it that way. Oh, as well. And it took out several of the units and on the, the top there. And the dozer in the factory. That was a crazy carpet bomb there. So it looks like Fantastic. Hannibal can move in and crush the remaining ground army here of Superman. He has yeah, hackers, but it will Superman. Pay off. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have enough stuff there. Unless <laughs> he can get a really awesome support bow. Oh, Lotus. There's another Lotus. Yeah, yeah. we do see Superman GG out of that one. Look, that's carpet bomb. That was just destroyed everything Superman yeah. had. I forgot how the range of it is just ridiculous. Like it's just yep. like it's huge. When they call it carpet bomb, they're not kidding. It really is a bomb of a bomb of carpets. Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. Look, of it's it's good, okay. <laughs> it's pretty it's, good. It's, it's it's good. So yeah, that was actually a really fast game. That was crazy. Like usually, like China mirrors, like these China mirrors are quite yeah. slow because of how slow their like battle masters are and that sort of thing. But yeah, that was a cool game. That was I can't believe that Hannibal still won despite losing like three airfields air field. full yeah, of MIGs. Like it's just that's pretty crazy. I think the um the 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 first like double forward supply didn't really pay off, but then after that his second forward supplies they really paid off. Yeah, definitely had that economic bonus to just let let him spam out the units. So Yeah, so different play styles from both of these China players, but ultimately Hannibal taking the game here with some nice uh micro and some nice carpet bombs. But you know, I think also once Superman lost his um his his supply to that sneaky flame tank yeah. during that big engagement, his economy just couldn't recover. Look, Hannibal being absolutely ahead in the yeah, supplies collected. Uh, so yeah, nice game here for both of these players, and that will wrap this one up for today. Fantastic! It's been a pleasure. I am Ooze Machine. No, Mark on Hawk. Bye bye.